Hello everyone! Inspired by my bike, Nature Trail Path, I've seen lots of growing maple leaves and so it inspired me to probably create polymer clay earrings. So thank you leaves and nature for sharing this inspiration and hope you learn from me guys! Let's do this! I already got some craft arts from previous projects. So I only needed to buy clay and so decided on Scopey. Others recommend having your own pasta machine maker to flatten clay. But if you don't have one, don't you worry because you probably have lots of things that you could use from your own kitchen. Just like this bottle. So I actually gathered all the chunky clays first you guys because I'm just experimenting remember and didn't want to waste any clay yet. So after combining, I decided to use the bottle to flatten it. Now you can decide on your preferred thickness. After you're done, you can now press your leaf using that bottle too. And as it's clay earrings, it needs to be paired. I use the same leaf. Thank you again, Leaf! Now, it was easier for me to have the clay first. So I could work on one earring at a time. Guys, if you are like me and you found it hard to cut through clay, Remember, you have control on this part, okay? You can actually change your strategies or your tools. And just like me, I stopped using this one and decided on using a regular kitchen knife. Thank you, IKEA! For warning though, be very careful when handling sharp objects. But as adults, let's just enjoy personalizing our clay. Once you're happy with one earring, then we could work on the other pair. Careful here. Ta-da! And here we go to the next. I am relearning, mistakes will happen, but that patience is still a virtue. So just enjoy the process guys. the other pair. Now with that extra clay, I actually decided to create some more. And after you're done, you could actually put holes now prior to baking. Remember to follow your clay instructions on baking them. I spaced them on the baking tray and added some more so that I could just bake them one time. I actually made three pairs of earrings for this batch.
after you've completely dried and rested your clay, you actually have a chance to still polish them using grit paper. So remove the edges as you don't want to hurt yourself, but you do want to keep the leaves form. Once you're done polishing, brush off the excess dust so that it's clear when it's time to paint it. I decided on this green color. I like how it turned out, so everything got colored the same. Now, I used gold to actually hide the edges. What do you guys think? Don't you worry about small blemishes because you can also paint the backside. I decided to lightly coat it still with gold. And if you have some Mod Podge, you can coat it to cover all the paints. I'm amazed at how it turned out to be. It's way better to actually have a bit of gloss. I highly recommend it. Now it's high time to assemble everything. And I decided on using gold trims. I'm happy with how this earrings turned out to be. I hope you learned something. Blessings everyone!